Greetings from Cochrane, Ontario. Now, Cochrane is not a farming town, and obviously this is not a farm. It's a warm, comfortable hotel room in the cold of the Canadian Shield. Um, I'm en route to Nova Scotia still. So, a lot has happened since I left the farm of the good food last week. So let's start with kittens. I was lucky enough to have company on my journey, at least as far as Winnipeg. I had two kittens with me. Now, why did I have kittens? Well, Ed, the farmer I was staying with just outside Winnipeg, has a farm, and mice, and no cats. And Susan has had an excess of kittens for most of the year. So uh, that meant that I could take a surplus of kittens from the Farm of the Good Food and donate them to Ed. Uh, so I had two very cute black kittens with me on the drive, and they were very, very well behaved. Um, Despite the horror stories that I heard, they did not puke, and uh, they managed to hold their bathroom breaks uh, for pretty much the whole journey. They were very, very good, and they provided endless entertainment for the person that was hosting me in Saskatoon as I stopped there for a few days. So, this is what the cats were doing in Saskatoon. Chewing up my bootlaces seems to have been a popular occupation for them, but uh, I love them anyway, and they're happily chasing mice at their new home in Winnipeg. So, while I was in Saskatoon, I had a chance to interview a farmer that should have been. By which I mean, she should have been in my film more than she will be. Um, Nettie Weeb is a minor celebrity in farming circles. She was involved in getting the food sovereignty movement started in Canada. She was head of the NFU for ages. Um, and when I met her in November, it took all of five seconds from meeting her before I said, you have to be in my film. Um, she's brilliant and charming. And when COVID hit, her farm decided that no one from the outside was coming onto the farm. So I couldn't stay with her and put her in the film. But I did get a chance to interview her. And somehow in that one interview, she managed to cut right to the heart of what the film is about. Um, she said something really, really wise, which I'm going to let her say it in her words, because I don't think I can duplicate what she said. Food is not just about profit. Farming is not just about profit. It is about that, but it's not just about that. All of the other things we do as a human community, as families, as people, also have to be weighed in, and they cannot always be subsumed under the economic exigency. And that uh, interfered, that sort of individualism and, and business mentality interfered with that other uh, uh, strand, which is to cooperate, to be part of neighborhoods, to be, uh, to, to be in community. I'm still chewing on the wisdom of what Nettie just said there. But what's profound to me is that by focusing on business, farmers saw each other as competitors, and that prevented them from working together. And I guess the lesson I draw from that is that if you focus on money, that can prevent you from focusing on the things that actually matter for success in business. And it looks to me like farmers would have been more successful by focusing on things other than the bottom line. I guess I still have to think about that, but that to me is something that's really important and not obvious when you think about how you run a business. So normally this is where I would say subscribe to the YouTube channel and yada yada yada, but I want to show you what it looks like driving across this giant country of ours. Because I've had a camera installed on my dashboard since I left Alberta. So these are some of the highlights. And I want to dedicate these highlights to my dear Uncle Duncan, who will lose his battle with cancer this week. And I can't be there with him. But I think he would like the idea of coming across the country one last time with me. So I'll be keeping him in my heart as I drive the rest of the drive to Nova Scotia. So thank you for watching. Now you can subscribe and you can see where things take me in Nova Scotia, or you can check out the website for the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. And I'll see you next week.